my name is Bridget and this is Liquid Amber Girl Gardening and today I would like to take a minute and just compare these two plants this and this I bought both of these as Raphidophora tetrasperma but I'm starting to think maybe that is not exactly what they both are it could be that one is a more juvenile form than the other but uh, let's have a look. Just going to move this back. Oh, can't see my piggy. There, you can see her cute little face. Okay, so this is, oh, I want to say first that this plant and this plant both came from what I would call reputable sellers not the same seller so each plant came from a different they were both online shops and um, i have purchased from both of these shops before with no problem anything like that i consider them to be like reliable sellers <laughs> let's just look at the these leaves okay so when i look at these leaves i get a completely different cast color than i do these I see like a bluish color. Of course, it's not gonna pick it up on video. Let's start with the newest leaf. This is the, the newest leaf that they left intact. They did cut off the actual newest leaf, which if you ever buy, um, especially aeroids, um, any kind of plant, um, oh, that's not uncommon, so don't worry about that. But this, the newest leaf that's left, has been cut where it had damage and we have some more here brown tip there and the end has several different okay so probably just um, wanting a little bit more humidity so anyway this newest leaf has the worst color of all the leaves and it's very very light colored and that's pretty common for a new leaf to not be the same color. So we're not gonna judge based on that one. Let's look at this one, which is actually a very nice looking leaf in my opinion. And um, hang on. Oh, has the fenestrations, but still, if you look at it, it definitely has a bluish cast. Um, and the shape of the leaf, whereas these leaves are definitely, turn here, there's definitely a heart. Um, not so here. Can I get you all the way in frame? You know, that's definitely a very long leaf with not really a heart shape at all. And there's only one other leaf on the plant that has, no, I'm sorry, there are two more. Two more leaves that have fenestrations. This one has just two cuts. And this one has, has only one. Can I get him in? The rest are all completely juvenile leaves like this. Oh, there's another one with a cut. Well, heck, there you go. There's another juvenile leaf. And then we have little baby leaves here, here, and here. All right, so is this just a juvenile form, Raphidophora? compared to this one. Do I have two plants and neither one of them is Raphidophora? I don't know. Um, if this isn't Raphidophora, what is it? It could potentially be, hold on. I sell these on my Etsy shop there. Um, it's like a little four ounce mason jar with leaf cuttings. And it has a bunch of them, so you can just then, when they're rooted, which I think they are. Yeah, that's a root there. There are lots of roots if you look underneath. Yeah. You um, can then plant them in a pot and then have basically 10 starts. I'll probably have to take that one out and put a healthier one. I don't like the color of that. But anyway, um, are they cute? This is Cebu Blue Pothos. And I'm absolutely sure you know, but in case you don't, 
Cebu Blue Pothos, if grown um, on some kind of a totem or something that they can latch onto and just really do their thing, it really does not take them long and they will start growing fenestrations. <laughs> Kind of just like this, actually. So um, my question is, is this actually just a very mature Cebu Blue Pothos? I don't know. Their color looks a little similar. Shape of leaf is for sure similar. Not really so much with this one. I don't know, friends. What do you think? What am I dealing with here? So this is my whole video. I don't have an answer for you. I wish that I did. And if someone out there um, knows more about this or knows someone that I can talk to about this, I would love to have an answer. I'm very, very curious. Oh, I forgot to show you the stem on this one, just for comparison purposes. So the stems don't look really different to me. They still have those white dots in each section, which I don't know, is that a growth point, a node? I have no idea. Um, Color-wise, this one is, is a brighter green. That one is darker. But again, if this is a juvenile plant, that makes total sense. I don't know, friends. I have no idea. So um, make sure to share your thoughts below. I would love to know if you think that I have two of the same plant, two different plants, or what the heck is going on. Maybe I just have a very mature version of a Cebu Blue Pothos here. I have no idea. And um, oh, make sure if you haven't that you watch my giveaway video, which is the most recent before this one and enter because I'm giving away three really fantastic plants there. I hope you all have a fantastic week. I'll see you uh, real soon. Bye. There he goes. There he goes. Look at him. That's a precious, that's a precious, precious insect. It's so sweet. He has a stick insect. <laughs> I have a walking stick right in my hand. Yeah, you do. I will not be defeated by a bad man and an American stick insect. Instead, I choose Fodka.